Hi everybody, it's Mama D and welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts. Today we're going to uh, be watching Ride with Norman Reedus, the season three, episode three. And I believe it's with Carol or Melissa McBride and they are in Scotland as she's researching her heritage. So um, just from the beginning clips, it looks like it's gonna be very interesting and a lot of history. Um, there, which is why I like these shows. Um, you get a history lesson for uh, whatever town or city he's he's riding through. So let's get started and we'll see um, what happens and where they go. I told you that it's possible to go back in time to a remote mystic place that is somehow familiar. This is it. This is a personal journey that transcends distance and time. I trek to Scotland with my good friend, Melissa McBride. I'm tracing my family roots. And an introspective quest to uncover a family history of long ago. This is my dream come true. Did you feel any vibrations? Norman, this is so much more than I ever expected. <gasps> this is it. Edinburgh, Scotland. This is destined to be a different kind of ride. And not just because I'm behind the wheel of a car. More on that later. In Scotland, there's a tale of mankind that spans thousands of years. It's evident driving through Edinburgh. There's an assimilation of old world and new. Here is a history long intertwined with the UK of a people's fight for freedom at the ballot box and on the battlefield. Hello. 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 Nice. Uh, Isn't this fun? What a cool spot. Let's get some tea right here. No one's indispensable in The Walking Dead, but Melissa McBride might just be the exception. Yeah, can't get rid of Carol. For eight seasons, her portrayal of Carol has won over fans and critics alike, and the two of us have been tight ever since the beginning. This is going to be a fun ride. It's going to be different. 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 Daryl drinking yeah. tea. Just doesn't look right. <laughs> Yeah, we, we came up with this idea while we were filming The Walking Dead sitting in that field. I was like, you should be on the show. You should get your license. We're like, okay. And I worked really hard to get my motorcycle license. And now here we are, except the weather is very... Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a new rider. I'm not... I don't feel that comfortable. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't need it. Well, I, I don't these think, conditions. I don't think anybody feels comfortable in these conditions. So it's better. We have a car now. So. I think we have a good alternative. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the first scene I ever did with you on the show. I was handing you that pickaxe, and, and I, I kept, kept getting, first time I gave you a little bit of blood, and you grabbed it, and then I kept going, more, put more blood on it. You were it so antagonistic. And I liked it, it was like, you were just like, like shiting me. Yeah, I was. Shoving it I was pushing my face. I was pushing it, but it's like, uh, you know, in grade school, and you kind of like someone, you're like, you Well, that's when I thought, you know what? I'm gonna like that guy. Yeah. Mystery. I've, I've never, never done, done my, my family tree, tree. Oh, not so much. much. Kind of, you know, it's like, I kind of don't know if I want to know. I know there's a lot of, like, criminal activity. And I know, like, I had a, like, a great-great-grandfather that was, like, hung as a horse thief and, like, like crazy, crazy, crazy stories like that. But this is all about you. I don't know. We're, we're going to find your stuff right now. It's going to be great. I just, I want that to be our Yeah, that'll be our mission. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be weird driving on the left. There we go. The skyline is just gorgeous. It's like everywhere you turn, everywhere you look. Did I hit something? Yes! What was it? The curb. <laughs> oh, this is where I, this is where I lose a mare. Ready? No! I was close. Wow, that was really close. Since each clan claims their own pattern, we're here to find the colors of Melissa's Campbell ancestors. Art weaving mill. The, the Scottish, Scottish traditional dress for a man is the kilt. There is that kind of animalistic thing about just wearing a whole swathe of tartan around you. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is definitely the spot. This is like the real deal. And of course, a true Scot doesn't wear anything under his kilt. Ooh. It gets a bit drafty. I bet it does. Hi, you guys green, so that's the colours for Clan Campbell. And that's, and that's the official crest of the clan Campbell. Campbell. It's, it's a boar. Oh, it's a boar's head. Oh, cool. And uh, this, this is in Gaelic. It's me, Oblificitaris. 
and that means uh, forget not. Neo Blitzkrieg. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 But the first pipe ever discovered is basically Iraq, old Babylonia. Was it ever like the wow. stomach of an animal? That, or did I make that up? You did make that up, but it's not just you that made that up. Everybody makes that up. Can we hear it a little bit? You certainly can. I think that you should do it. This is your Scottish heritage exploration. Well, I'll, I'll try it with you. So just give it a go and keep going. <laughs> That's it, that's it. Did I do that? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did, you did. Keep going. Four. Excellent. <laughs> Four brain. Yeah, yeah, more, more, more. More, more. <laughs> I shut the door. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. That feels good. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you get recognized, but this this was a happy Keep accident. Back scratch. Let's go to we're going to Kinross and go curling. Wow. Uh, Fans of The Walking Dead are quick to point out the chemistry between Daryl and Carol. Yep. And off screen, you might say our friendship has no bounds. Did you just fart, Norman? I did not fart. You just farted. I swear to God, I didn't. It was me. Ah, uh, Carol farted. You and Scott Wilson are the biggest farters on our show. And then Andy and I are like, you guys are gross. Can Ross curling? Let's do this. You ready, you ready to, to curl, curl, girl? <laughs> you ready to curl, girl? I don't get that sport. There was a monastery on Chesef Island in Loch Lee. The theory is that the monks curled way back in the 13th century. Well, can Ross Curling Club is the oldest curling club in the world. Our minutes started in 1882. That was really fun. Yeah, thank you for teaching us. Where are you heading off to now? I'm going to find out about my ancestors. The What's Campbells. your name? Campbell. I'm tracing my great-great-grandfather, Alexander Campbell. Do you know the village of town that they lived in? There's a place called Nig. Yeah, it's just beyond Aberdeen, on the coast. A wise Scotsman once wrote, We are all travelers in the wilderness of this world, and the best we can find in our travels is an honest friend. And as our first day in Scotland comes to a close, I'm excited to help my good friend look for what you came here to find. Perth, Scotland. Today our mission is twofold. Engage in local culture while attempting to avoid running off the road. You are really hugging the left. I'm hugging the left? You are hugging the left. I like it over there. <laughs> am I, like am it I hanging over. over the left? I'm like, yeah. The fabric of Scotland's society lies in its time-honored traditions. The Scots are a proud, hardworking people whose customs and heritage continue to be passed down and fiercely protected. I would love to just, like, live on a cliffside with some sheep, the ocean crashing on the cliff rock. Yeah. Like a big douche commercial. <laughs> you ruined the whole thing. Oh, I hate you, Mommy. You are so does like this Sounds like it. Hello. Aren't you cold? We're Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is it's not raining and it's not windy, so you know we're, we're this is like Mordor gun dogs in 2006. Specializing in Labradors and Spaniels, his innovative breeding and training techniques have produced top-line dogs, which are sought after all over the world. Labradors were invented in Scotland. They originated oh, really? here. It was a, a very old Scottish Didn't family, the, the Buccleuch family, the Duke of Buccleuch, who's the biggest landowner in Europe. And were and they he, always hunting dogs? They I mean, were they invented were... as a hunting dog. He had a huge hunting estate. He has a number of them still. And he wanted to create his own dog, the Labrador, which is the most popular and most famous mm -hmm. pedigree dog in the world. Welcome to Donata Castle. Oh. That doesn't even look real. It's so, so King, King Arthur. Arthur. Wow. This is overwhelming. Overwhelming, yeah. Wow. What? Are you the, the 
keeper of the castle? Jim, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Norman. Hi, Norman. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. It's great. This place is awesome. Which is the oldest part of this castle? So, the oldest part of the castle is just right here. There's a chapel here. 1276, actually, this was built. The castle changed hands, backwards and forwards over the years. And uh, William Wallace took it back from the English and uh, took it back for Scotland. Scotland's ongoing 800-year struggle for independence from British rule has oft pitted clan versus clan. A complex plight still without resolution today. I've just so much going on in my head. You know what's funny? I was actually thinking about um, Negan. Like a guy like Oliver Cromwell. I think maybe he started out with the best intentions, you know? And then it just kind of... I don't know, you lose sight of lose sight of everything and then, and then the way you go about things defeats the purpose. Wait, hold on. Let's go talk to him. Day three. Wow, these birds are beautiful. I'm Steve. I'm Norman. Nice Hi, Norman. Hi, Steve. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Nice to meet you. Fancy trying one on the gloves? Sure. She's so pretty. You're so yeah. pretty. Chilling with an owl, you know. <laughs> He's Thank so you. Harry Potter, that one. Hi. I think Carol should have a bird on the show. Yeah. Does he look relaxed? That'd be bad. He looks relaxed, yeah, he's not too bad. Not too bad. In my mind, I'm thinking, this bird could just rip my face off. No, nah, he's never done anything yet. Yeah. Stonehaven, Scotland. Writing in Scotland you get to experience the Scottish weather in all its cold, wet glory. Day three, we continue our travels toward Aberdeen, the home of Melissa's great-great-grandfather, and where we'll explore her family history. Let's go meet some sheep people. <laughs> some sheep people. Like barn? Like barn? Who needs? Ah, sheepdog. Woo! What is this? I wonder if that's uh. Mm, look at him holding Hello. Oh, it's... hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Alice. Nice to meet you. We are one of two rare breed farm parks in Scotland, and we specialize in breeding rare and endangered livestock. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is Ron Rigg. What, what is this? Is uh, so he's an English longhorn bull. So he's just a baby. He's about a year. Baby? Yeah. <laughs> Tracing my family roots. Okay. And I have tracked them to Aberdeen. Well, luckily, a lot of the stuff in Aberdeen is still present, so nothing's really changed that much. Oh, good. So I hope you find really lovely, great things. Thank you. I have a lot, a lot more research to do. Welcome to the North Sea. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful view. It's a very fresh air. This is Nick Bay. This is Nick Bay. So there is a lighthouse, which you, you can't really see at the moment, but that's Nick Bay. So we are in Nick at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nick Bay is, is where her family lived. Well, there you go. You could have been right here. So you might be actually seeing what, what you're probably stood right here. <laughs> this is it. This is kind of it. Wow. This is my dream come true. Wow. This is it right there. There's something enchanting about discovering you're standing in the shadows of family ghosts. And stumbling upon this place, half a world away from home, feels less of a coincidence with every wave that crashes. There are no coincidences. So nice to meet you. You too. To the car. Yeah, that was a little emotional. Throughout my life, I've never had much in the way of roots. I didn't look back, because I didn't think I had anything really to look back to. How you feel? I to feel love the yeah, so your roses were right here looking at that ocean. I feel like I just, it's all bubbling up. I feel like I want to scream. But I'm realizing now just how mistaken I've been all along. I feel so much better. As we leave the area of Nig Bay, it's a quick five mile drive up the coast to our final destination, the port city of Aberdeen. William Wallace was the guy that really wanted freedom for Scotland. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Do you guys know where the William Wallace uh, memorial is? It's just down there on the, on the next crossroads down there on the left. Thank you, sir. It is a home 
sense of freedom. That's what we're known for, freedom. And I mean, yeah, I think we were all very proud of Braveheart. It was a slightly altered version of fact. Oh wait, maybe that's him. Uh, the big one? No. It created a lot of interest in Scotland, so maybe it's a, maybe it's a good thing, despite how terrible it is. That's gotta be him. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Doesn't look anything like Mel Gibson. <laughs> Stand in front of that and take a picture. Uh, he was put to death solely for his love of liberty. The vibrations. Well, I, I, I felt, you know, I did. I got a real, like, very quick emotional reaction when she said we were in Nig. This is Nig Bay. I was like, wow, well, this is what I've seen the writing on the papers. From what I've seen in my research, this is, I know this is at least where they were for some time. Aberdeen, Scotland. Heading over to the Aberdeen archives. They, by the time we get there, are, will have pulled some stuff for me. After three days of discovering Scotland, this is it. A chance to finally learn about Alexander Campbell. Can you see something? Yes. yes. I'm going to show you upstairs. Okay. We're just at the top floor. All the central records of the city are locked away behind these doors. They go all the way back to the 12th century. The oldest uh, record we have is a chart that was given to the city by King William the Lion in the 1180s. What about the Campbells? How, where do you think that they might have come from? It's hard to say how far back they go and where they go. It's also the origin of the name Campbell because it's more of a nickname originally as well. The area is listed. Oh, wow. Innkeeper. Innkeeper. Oh, I've got a slightly later one here. But by this point, he's changed his profession. Alexander Contractor. That sounds a little shady. He's jack of a great number of trades, but by the same token, he kind of never quite achieves a kind of prominence in the city that other people do. And I'm, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's actually on purpose. And around there, which was one of Aberdeen's most notorious slums, these are very heavily subdivided tenements. So you get numerous families living in Incredibly, incredibly cramped, cramped conditions. conditions. The, the town decided, decided to demolish in the 1920s. Ironmonger's court where he would have lived in his last year. Wow. And it's still and there. It's still there. Oh, wow. So it's just, just, just north, north of here. here. They demolished, they demolished everything, everything around him. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Oh. I don't know them. I know. It's just kind of crazy being here. OK, let's go do this. Norman, you almost fell. Is this it? Nah, it's like an Easter egg hunt. Hey, wait. <gasps> yeah, that's it. Wow. Campbell. Great grandpas. Great great grandpas. I don't great. know why I'm emotional. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. The craziest thing about this whole thing is we were shooting The Walking Dead sitting between takes on this field overlooking this cliff. Melissa, come here. And you go, you know what would be great ideas to go to Scotland? And I was like, that's what we'll do. And here we are. Here we are. From that moment, we're at this moment. That's pretty rad. But before we end our trip, there's one more place Melissa needs to see. The last known address of her ancestor Alexander Campbell. Is, is this your bar? What do you know about this building? It's associated in 1777, so it's 240 years old. Wow. And so it was owned by the McBride family. Oh, From the what no. family? McBride. McBride. Family. How cool is a, that? There's a photograph on the wall there. He's got chills. That's crazy. Is this like coincidence all over the place? <laughs> Nothing sequences, everything happens. Yeah. I gotta, Which one's who? I've got to get a picture. McBride, McBride you're on the end right here. I see. I, I need another drink. Great great grandfather's death certificate. It says this is where he passed away, 14 Upper Kirkgate. It went right above the bar. Yeah. 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 So the wake would have been here. Oh my gosh. So they died right above us. Wow. 
I think. I think. That's crazy. I mean, we've come this far and it all leads to this yeah. bar and it happened above yeah. us. So I just feel it. I just feel it. Yeah, this is the spot. To Alexander, forget not. Yeah. What I can't understand is how I'm not that crazy about whiskey. Maybe you're a rum girl. From the start, I knew this was destined to be a different kind of ride. Being, Being able, able to take, take this journey into the past with Melissa has been a truly magical experience that we surely will forget not. Wow. I mean, I was impressed by that. I think that was a pretty cool history lesson. And watching her get to um, investigate her roots and um, knowing that I'm, you know, like I said, 68% uh, English and then 18 or 14% uh, Ireland and Scotland and Wales. I would love to do that. That would be so cool. So I can imagine what her feelings are while she's going through this. So another great episode of Ride with Norman. Um, and I'll be back with the next uh, season three, episode four uh, in a couple days. But um, looking forward to seeing what that one uh, is all about. And we'll be getting back with uh, you regularly when fear comes on on June the 2nd. So I'm going to try and find some other things to react to in between time. Um, I did one Whiskey Cavalier. Eh, wasn't really um, too excited about that. But um, I did also do one to The Resident, the first episode of The Resident. So I think I might look at the second episode and see what that's about and post that too. So uh, y'all have a great day. Peace out.